Fire damage taken. Don't care. I can't find the item you get. Oh, there it is. The mantle of the snow field requires level 41. I will hold on to that for a while. It looks pretty good. Thirty-two and twenty-eight. Huh. It's actually a little better. It doesn't reflect any damage. It's still okay. Uh. Mm. Were you what? using claws, Zen? Me? Uh, yeah, claws. claws. I found one that has four empty sockets on it. Ooh, where are you? Did you go through the gate? Yeah, I went through the gate. It brings I, you back to Zarafesh. Okay, I went through the gate, so now I'm in loading screen. Yeah, actually, the loot was interesting because I had to make some choices. Okay, well, there you are. Yeah, there, there is actually some really good loot. Hey there. And I um, was not expecting it. So, you there you go. Feast your eyes on that. Uh, oh, wow. And you can just have these because I, I know you only use wands and not. I, I only have room for a couple of things, so, okay, that's fine. Uh, Very fast attack 161. It's less damage, but I probably could augment its damage. So yeah, you can. Better. You can trick the shit out of that. I could if I find some embers. Hell yeah. I think I'll hold on to that. That might be... Okay. 208, 205. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to that. Uh, just in case I find some good embers. Uh, attack embers or something. Yeah, I like that Hey, hey Saigon, what's your dexterity? Your rubbish. <laughs> it's rubbish. Uh, 37. Six. Oh, 37? Okay, because I found some armor that gives you... Uh, 10% electric and poison damage, 20% fire and ice damage, 15% of electric fire, ice, and poison damage, 10% experience, 10% magic find, if you get the whole set. My god! Oh, it's a whole set thing? Uh, yeah. That's not collect That's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, but we never just collect the defense sets. itself is 55, straight out of the box, for a chess piece. Oh. Um, Alright, while we're here in town, I'm going to uh, give myself a socket, just because I can. Uh, yeah, on this. Hey, what's your leggings, Sagan? My leggings are level 26, and they're part of the Badland set. Level 26, we're way past. Oops. <laughs> uh, Whoops. Yeah, health recovery. Whoops. Give Wait, those back, Captain Fluffykins. Have, Captain Fluffykins took my pants. Oh, okay. Captain Fluffykins? Yeah. My Captain Fluffykins? Captain Fluffykins. Uh, okay. Stole my pants. Stole your pants? Oh, it is a shame none of us use a shield. Yeah. It, Knockback it, resistance, physical armor boost, physical armor boost, 2% chance to block, cast speed boost, all damage boost, vitality boost, melee weapon boost, fire damage boost, potion effectiveness boost, ranged weapon damage bonus, 15% chance to block. Ah, well then. You There's like... <laughs> Found some stuff. Didn't you? So many things on just this one shield. Oh man, I found some pants. I just I think need to I might actually these pants. That's going Wait, in the it, box. If it's giving you an elemental damage boost, you might as well equip it in your offhand anyway. It makes your Whoops. spells better. Uh, he's dual wielding wands for maximum effect. Yeah, yeah, that but that's really only for good. melee, right? Like well, not melee, but when you actually do left click attacks. The wands? Yeah, they're just yeah. left click attacks. Yeah, so you could. I replace one of those with a shield and get all the effects of that shield to make your regular spells better. Maybe you could swap it as a W switch thing, like switch between two item sets. Uh, so wait, no, the the holding a shield wouldn't give me the boost when dual wielding, would it? No. Well, no, no not when dual wielding, but you could have a shield and a wand, right? And get the boost from the shield in one of your wands. I. Could, but one of my wands gives 20% uh, damage boost when dual wielding. Yeah. And you always want the ones that have very fast attack speed or fast attack speed. Maximum effect. Uh, where are we going now? There was a quest that the dragon in the center of town gave us. We are... Wait, where is... Where this the dragon hell right is my bank? The, she gives you breaking the siege and she'll give you 45,000 for it. There's a bank, right? Where's the bank? No, you the, have a chest. You have a shared chest, and it's not. In it's right. It's room. right. It's right here. Oh yeah, right here. Oh, okay. Shared you stash. Have stash and shared. Th all right. Yeah, stash I'm throwing the shield in that. Put my gold in. Shared stash is between all your characters, and stash is just. That's this fine. One. If I ever play this again with a character that uses a shield, they will they won't use that shield. Okay, I'm gonna also, follow you. Also, we just you. did main Welcome. plot stuff. We just saw side quests, didn't we? 
There are side quests up the ass in this game. Do we have more side quests? Yeah, Maybe. we have. Find and aid the missing crew, locate the faceless king. Oh, let's go do that. Well, there are stars in the map that tell you, so I guess one over here. Oh, I found a Berserker-specific chest piece. Oh, then here. Mm. What do you got for me? Okay, what do you got for me? Um, requires level 36. It's pretty good. I'll have to hold on to it until... Until I level up a couple times, but yeah, it the is. The hell was that? <laughs> that was me. That was gross. I'm sorry. I, actually, <laughs> I thought I did that away from the. the <laughs> you did not. Take off. I'm gonna actually buy some potions uh, because you know reasons. Uh, oh, um, sixty-six and four. Um. Oh, Sagan. Go yes. change your attack details on your options so you can see the damage of your normal attacks. Yeah, what? Okay, uh, go to the little wrench. Click yeah, on settings. settings, right. And then when it says floating damage and check text, change it to normal. And then start hitting that thing. Yeah, see, floating right damage, right. it's on the right. It's on the right. It's on the right. Oh, there it is. I have it on sparse, yeah, normal. Yeah. Not verbose. My god, not verbose. <laughs> no, but normal is generally pretty good. Yeah, there we go. There we go. See how effective you're being. My attacks suck against this. I crit for 400 and I do 140 damage, 150. 251. I okay. also crit for 400. Okay, let's go. <laughs> but I'm a mage. It's fine. <laughs> I will follow you to stuff. Uh, I think we're going back out yeah, to, the back to the Salt Barons. Salt Barons. That gives me a bad <clears throat> taste in my mouth. <laughs> Salt barons? Yeah. Where's my pet? Why is my pet not here? It makes me think of fungus underneath the Utah salt flats, you know? Okay. Wait, why would there be fungus in a salt place? Zen! The, the, the salt flats do grow a fungus on them that Zen. you not think would ever grow in, in a salt flat, but they do. What? I'm looking right at you, what? Let's go. <laughs> I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you now. I was kind of waiting on that. I have. I know. I'm already I have in the next area, dude. That oh, have are you? Points I haven't used yet, which is upsetting. It's teasing me with that little arrow. So we want to go visit visit the faceless king, right? Is that what we're doing? It's a side quest. Why not? I have. Well, aside from robot parts, I have uh, Shadow of the Scara and Secret of the Ezro here, which yeah. is the Faceless King. Yeah, okay, I'm in the Vault Oops. of Souls if you guys want to warp to me. Uh, I could. <laughs> Following Fine. Faster than walking. Fine. <laughs> Teleport to your allies, Raz. You don't have a portal over You don't have a portal on you. Oh, I don't. You need to make a portal. You can't open a portal here. Fine. Oh, you're portal. in a dungeon, aren't you? I can, can pop one out right outside the dungeon. Can, no, you don't even have to pop one out outside of the dungeon. You can just teleport straight to somebody if they're not in a dungeon. No, oh, okay, so I'll just wait outside the dungeon. Then. Yeah, just do that. I'm teleporting to you now. Oh, I'm loading right now, so... <laughs> I just clicked on the Raz little man. The little, the little green man. That, the Raz the little, green, the little green icon that represents your avatar without an avatar picture. Had to be oddly specific there. Okay, there it is. Uh, Faceless King. Yeah, why not? Let's go in. I am still loading. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you until I don't need to wait for you anymore. Oh, uh, I'll use my skill points while I wait, because why not? I can use that one. And... All the others I have to wait on. Because I'm doing specific skills that can only be leveled up at certain levels. And I want to save the points for that. And I... I'm still loading. loading. Saigon is loading. There you are. Oh right. god, there we are. <laughs> Go down. Here. And immediately attacks the ground. No, no, and immediately another loading screen. <laughs> well, maybe this one will work. No, nope, not responding again. <laughs> we'll have to wait. Hey, there we go. That was quick. Wow, I'm still loading. Look, hold control. You can just like do the little thing. Okay. Uh, nobody appreciates that. What, I being able to stand I, still? I just thought I always forget it exists. Stone Hulk, huh? I have been abusing that since Diablo 1. Of 
course, because you're when you're when you're a spellcaster, you don't want to walk towards your opponents. Or a rogue. Yeah, that, that either. Sand specs. Blocks critical. Block, block, block critical. <laughs> I love it. It's nice seeing all that text, isn't it? Well, I, I was—I already had it on since the beginning. It's just um, oh. I'm making a note of it now because I got turned it on. Too bad you can't see what other people are doing. That would clog up the screen. And then you'd have people complaining about why you're not doing as much damage as them. Yeah, they'd be bitching. Well, that they there's be like, optional. there's <laughs> there should be a limit to how much information is given in these kinds of games. Like, can you imagine if um. The total amount of damage that players did in Monster Hunter was displayed. Dude. For like random groups, it would be terrible. It would ruin the community. Why would it ruin the community? You're not being specific enough. Do you have you ever played you you don't really play a lot of MMOs then? Um so MMOs no. have this problem <laughs> with as soon as people discover like mathematically the best way to do things, anybody who doesn't is immediately just labeled a scrub and skillless, and that's the wrong way. Well, in nostalgia, if you're trying to do a, a Black Sanctum run, and you can't one-shot in the Sanctum, you either need to team up with someone who does AoE, or you just can't go on a run. Um, I tried to be on a run, actually, two nights ago, with, a, with two people who are relatively newbies at Sanctum runs. They don't have the gear, and they don't have the seeds. So, really... I'm like, okay, I'll do what I can, I'll be the healer, because I got a healer endgame and almost end gear, just missing a helmet. So I'm like, okay, uh, I'll be your healer. And neither one of them AoEs, and neither one of them one-shots. And I'm sorry, but you're not going to survive. And I'm giving them a hard time for that. I'm like, you, you guys realize that we're not going to live, right? Yes, and but... like, you're so negative. And but like, for no, something no, like that, that's, that is very much stat based those are oh we were up on a ledge um for something like that where it's stat based it makes a lot more sense but for something like monster hunter which is heavily skill based uh the second you bring stats into it and people uh pay more attention to stats than they do player skill it's gonna make the community a mess i guess skill matters a lot more in games where it's not turn based yeah 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 yeah, because that game, Nostalgia is basically stats. And, I mean, yeah, to get your stats, I mean, you have to go on runs even when you're not here to get your gear. That's true. But you have to team up with two people, not just one. You know, you can't have two people who just got to the Sanctum trying to be in a party. It doesn't work. Right. Well, then need... how did anybody ever clear the Sanctum at all, ever? <laughs> um, you can go... Slowly. <laughs> you don't clear the Sanctum. when Before people had their seeds, they would do the three dailies you could do. They would do the ghost trapping, uh, the pillars. So there were dailies that they had to do to prepare for the sanctum before. There were three dailies they could do to uh -huh. get seeds, and then that would help them prepare to actually beat the first boss of the sanctum. And now that's not needed so long as you're going with people who have already been in the sanctum. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can have people so carry you then. You can have if you haven't seeded up. You can have two oldies carry you. Yes. And uh, that makes you level up faster. It gives you it gives you badges faster, it gives you seeds faster, potentially gives you loot faster. Mm -hmm. But two people have to carry you. One person can't carry two newbies. That doesn't work. Yeah, it's not like and in Diablo 2 where you can have one person carry five people. You can. Just stand on the back. I never actually played Diablo 2. <laughs> oh yeah, you totally can. You get a uh, a sorceress or a hammerden. Uh -huh. They can. They can get a couple of people to max level in just like a day. <laughs> oh, okay. From from the beginning of the game, it's ridiculous how fast you it can get leveled up. Basically, you like 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 you mm -hmm. go through the whole story in like two hours. <laughs> yeah. How do you gear up? And do they just have like sets of stuff they don't give a shit about and just give it to you? Because you. Can uh, you do you do bail runs once okay. you get to him, and bail uh, the fight with him has tons of ads that drop a lot of really good stuff. That makes sense. And you just you fight him over and over and over again because you can get to him really fast, also. Okay. And then you just <laughs> you start. You get to him really fast because you're expected to die a lot. That does not want to die. Okay, I'm um, charging a machine gun is not wise. Whatever that monster was, his his rock spell. I was like trying to walk to him through it. This doesn't work. 
when you can walk around it just fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, I'm just being stupid. Just totally. I'm being the heavy in Team Fortress 2 who tries to run who tries to run the uh, sentry and punch it. It works sometimes. So it's not it only when you're Ubered, yeah, then it's funny. But when you're not Ubered and you try to do it, it doesn't work. <laughs> when you're Uber you're showing off. Yeah. When you're Uber and you just put your fists up. As a matter of fact you can put the boxing gloves on if you want. And then it's just really funny. I don't play Team Fortress 2 anymore. I don't even have it installed. A couple reasons. Uh, I That's lost another one that I couldn't get into. I lost the, yeah, I was, I was in it for a while. Uh, but right at the time when Meet the Medic came out, their, their little intro videos, Meet the Cast, mm -hmm. when they made Meet the Medic, it's when they start introducing lots of achievements for different types of weapons for your characters. And the Medic was the first one they introduced. The Oof. achievement tree was outrageous because you had to complete it all to get everything. They, they, they since changed that system, but when it was first introduced, you had to complete the achievement tree to get all of his new weapons, and and you had to change your weapon loadout, and you still have to do it this way, by the way, in the gear locker, which doesn't make any sense because you'd think that it would be like um, Duke Nukem, where all of your weapons are just hotkeyed one to nine, and then right. you could just swap out. But no, they have to. You have to set up your three weapons in the gear locker, and that's kind of annoying. Um, because, like, the medic has one gun that can't uber but heals faster. Uh, he has one needle gun that, like, gives him health, but, uh, like, when he shoots, he gets, like, plus three health every time I hit someone. Uh, these weapons are fine, they're utility. But there are times when you do want the other weapon. And you don't, you, you don't have enough, you don't have the logistics to run back and change, you know? What's this? There's a shiny stick coming up out of the ground. Uh, shiny stick? of 46. What are you doing, Saigon? You're like in the corner taking a piss over the void. I'm, I'm, uh, I leveled up and I'm just trying to get equipped. You leveled up. Well, I'm looking at my levels and I have nothing to improve right now because I have to wait. Okay. I have like five skills that are augmenting my attack, but I've maxed them out currently and I have to get to the next level milestone before I can get all five. So I'm accumulating stat points, and then when I get to the next milestone, I'll just pump all five into it. When you kill an enemy, you have a chance to freeze up to four additional enemies within a seven meter radius. I like it! Uh, there you are. Okay, I'm here. I'm ready to go. I'm just following you now. As is handling it. As got it. He's uh, handling it. I'm just waiting <laughs> for you. What the? Oh, okay. These screws come up out of the ground into pillars. Okay. Sometimes. Not always. Oh, boss. Oh, there's a thing over there. There's, There's some thing. chests here I can't open. The king in masks. He's not a king. He's a he's a pteropod. A pteropod. He could be a king, I guess. I mean, a king of his species, but his species looks so derpy. I can't take him seriously. <laughs> I'm royalty, but you don't look it. Where's your crown? He's got three royal masks floating above his head. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? But they don't... sorry, I want the I want the Victorian crown on his head. I'm busy loading. With a gigantic ruby in the center, just to show off and be ostentatious. Yeah, what if there was too much information in this game? What if at the bar there was a bar on the right side which showed you the percentage of damage you were doing versus your teammates? It would cause undergeared people to get kicked out, it would cause people to focus too much on gear, it's... I don't think it works well for this kind of game. People do focus on gear. I actually have played Endgame with some people in this game and it sucks because they're the people who are max level plus and they're just like total gear sluts and they don't like you very much. You don't have anything to trade them and they don't want anything, like they won't give you anything and you don't have anything to trade them. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's not worth it unless you were grinding for like oh, five months. Uh, Zen, where'd you go? Did you leave? Uh, no, I'm, I'm still here. I found a belt that looks cool, plus 380 health. That's kind of nice. Oh, you're right there. Um, I have a really awesome claw that you might like. All right, I'll check it out. Uh... Yeah, oh, and um, I have that uh, that you can check out. And oh, um, this is a gun sword. So you might want that. A gun sword? 
It's not yeah, a gunblade! It's a pistol with a bayonet on it, but it's like an axe yeah. on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, now I, I need to actually look at what you just gave me. Oh. Um, the, the Wazig Bracer of Fire? No, no, no. You gave me... It was that orange claw. Very fast attack, 260. It is much better than the Moonblade. It also has elemental damage on it, too. No. Matter of fact, that is a direct upgrade. Why, thank you. You're welcome. I got that from uh, the box. <laughs> that's good, because I didn't get shit from that boss. I got a, a level 33, 10 vitality. Vitality and focus. No, I think I'll take these because they're higher level. Uh, I'm still waiting to level up to equip that. Oh, Saigon, and... you're an Ember Mage. I'm, in, oh, I'm an Ember Mage again. You're an Ember Mage again. Time for me to start dying in one hit again. Here, yeah, check probably. this out. Okay, even if, if the gear doesn't look like an upgrade, but it's a higher level than the current gear you have, you might want to equip it. I'm not sure how well that, that mantle piece looks for you, but... Um... Yeah, I lose my set bonus, but aside from that, I love the focus attribute bonus. I think I'm going to go with it. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. 15% attack speed, health stolen to master on hit, health stolen on hit. I got, I got a dog tag if anyone wants it. Uh, no, this is an old dog tag. You don't want it. It's level 11. <sighs> Um, right. I am waiting on Wait, what was rare that? gloves, uh, plus 13% fire damage. Requires, nah, you won't be able to equip it. Uh, there's a belt here. I'm waiting on that. Okay, I'm done what sorting loot. Did you guys go through the portal? Yes. I figured. You guys always leave me behind. It's okay. I'm uh, used to it. Not always. Sometimes we leave as behind. That's, that's true. Yeah. Do do that. 